welcome back to the Journeyman Career Mode. We are with Rosenborg. We are in Group 2, and we will finish off the season in this episode. Uh, there are seven games remaining in the Norwegian League, and uh, we are six points clear at the moment. So I'm hoping that we can uh, take the title here and uh, hopefully go and start looking for a job in Group Number 3. We'll address that one when we get there. We've still got that Austrian job. They haven't come back and said anything to us as of yet. So um, a big, big episode coming up we might be moving on to group number three uh, I did see some comments regarding Gruber being number 88 now I want to address this now in this episode um, apparently that has something to do with uh, World War two um, some people have been rubbed the wrong way I don't want to upset anybody so um, I don't know do we need to make an executive decision and change it I know 88 well you know we've picked it because it's the year that Die Hard came out and it's Die Hard with a vengeance but um, if you feel we should change the name, let me know in the comments once again. I'll take all that on board and uh, maybe put some suggestions down for what number Gruber could possibly change to. But anyway, we've covered that. Let's get into this episode. We've got two months remaining, seven games here in the uh, Norwegian League to get through. And uh, hopefully then we can go and look for a job in group number three. So taking a look at April, there are four games here in April. There's also a cup game. So I think what we'll do is we'll play this cup game. Uh, we'll see if the boys can get the job done because the whole idea behind this Journeyman series is that the team can get the win without us in control. So if they're getting the wins by simulating, well, then we know that they are going to be fine once we do move on and hopefully they can remain a powerhouse in this league once we do move on. So we'll play this cup game here in April. We'll see where we're sitting. We'll move into May and um, I guess we'll play one of these last games here uh, to wrap up this episode and then we can go look for a new job. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Still seven games to play. We've only got a six point buffer, but all right, let's get simulated. All right, we are away here against Halson and oh no, we've lost one nil. Oh, don't tell me this is gonna fall apart in the end. My right, monthly scouting update is back from Australia, but it hasn't brought us really any talent whatsoever, so we'll move on. All right, Austria, what have you got for us? I think we were looking for wingers, weren't we? Oh, Jonas Jungbao, 50 to 66, 72 to 94. 130 gram, we'll sign him in anyway. Uh, Walter Jungbao, his brother, 47 to 65, 75 to 94 potential. 450 grand evaluation, we'll be signing him in. And uh, Winkler and Schmidt, we will leave there. And Norway, what have you got for us? Nut Larsen looks okay. Uh, I'm real concerned about Austrians here though. Uh, because we want to fill out this squad so that we can leave them here when we do move on. So we'll hold there on Norway. Right, we're home here against Viking, and it's a 3-0 win. Garlo with two more goals for his season. Right, we're away here against Tremoso. I'm sending this reserves team out. We lose 1-0. Not what we needed, but we did have a five-point butter. Just trying to keep people fresh because we've got the cup game up in a couple of days' time, and I want to utilize those players. All right, here we go. This is the quarterfinals of the NM Kuppen. Uh, we are at the Color Line Stadium and we're taking on Isles and FK. And uh, well, we've put out a, a very interesting team here. Uh, very, very colorful. And uh, quite a few Austrians actually have been selected here by uh, Davide Lombardi. So we've got through to the quarterfinals here. Well, it wasn't really us doing it, but uh, the boys have progressed through. We'll try and get them through to a semi here if we can. Uh, Gruber is back from that little injury that he did have, so he will start up front here today, the Austrian. Um, Garlo is in some scintillating form. He is the captain of this team today. He will start on the right-hand side. O'Connor is on the left. Uh, Burnson in the camp position. Martin's in centre midfield. Uh, then we've changed up some selections through the back line. Uh, we'll just wait till to see the team pop up. Here's the Alzen side. Uh, I have no idea who any of these players are. I'm not really a, a follower, of course, of the Norwegian League. But uh, you know what? It's like just going in blind. But hopefully the boys are up for the challenge today. We're looking to get through to the semi-final, help the boys out, and maybe secure some more money. That man has some flaming red hair. Lombardi has none left. Uh, a bit of a stressful life towards the end of his career. Here's the Rosenborg lineup. We've got the Canadian Fraser between the sticks. Palacios, Lenner at centre back. Uh, he will partner up with Sykes. Meyer starts at left back. Here's an Austrian. And Pischler starts at central defensive midfield. So a couple more Austrian lads into the side to take a look at and see what they are, you know, all about. Hopefully we can get the job done. Let's go, Rosenborg. I'm really coming at him. He'll play it back here to Pischler. Back to Martinson, back to Pischler, the Austrian with a couple of touches. Next Burnson, out wide, finds Garlo. Back inside for Burnson. 
Laid off the pitch lock. Just trying to find an opening here. Slips it forward. Martinson lays it off for Garlo. Oh, picked off. Well, it's a free kick here for our Norwegian opposition. 29 yards out. And they decide to play it across and lay it off. And Martinson gets in there and holds up the play. And he gets the free kick for his trouble. Off the Pischler. Comes through nicely. Pischler. Oh, it took a deflection and a lie. It's the same. Oh, solid from Leonard. He is growing in stature. Only a young lad. There's Pischler. Plays it off. Burnson. Oh, he's giving it away. The Norwegian. He'll find his way through. No, he can't. Picked off. And here comes Alison. Moving forward. O'Connor can't get the challenge. Played back through the middle. And back out wide again. Meyer has to do the job, but he can't. He worked from Sykes. Oh, Groves. Well done. Pischler, has he got a range shot on him? No, he doesn't. Burnson lays this one off. Pischler's got space again. Works his way forward here. Pischler! Oh! Needs to work on his shooting here, the Austrian central offensive midfielder. He found the space and he took the strike, but well, well off target. Comes back around. Nice work from Martinson. He'll play it off here. Burnson, quick touch on. Gruber trying to find his way through. Here is Gruber! Oh, good save from the keeper. Well, there's the whistle for half time. Deadlocked at nil all. Well, at half time, Winkler has checked in. Another Austrian lad into this Rosenborg side. They're starting to take over. Here is Winkler. Works his way through the game majestically. It's a lovely run here from Winkler. Checks in. And a great save from Lai. What a run from Winkler. He worked the keeper perfectly. Number 39 with the left, but it hooked back straight at him. A good save, and we'll get a corner here early in the second half. Garlo to deliver. Whips it inside. Gruber tried to get involved, but got picked off. And here they come. Has some agility and skill here, Winkler. Oh, a lovely touch from Winks. Winky Dink. Works his way back. Has he got a cross? That's the question. Tried to bring it inside. O'Connor off to Pischler. Plays it out wide. Here's Garlo. Can he take his man on? He can. He tries to shoot. Gruber. Oh, no. It's popped out the back. And out they come. Garlo moves through the midfield. Starting to filter down. Pischler off to Winkler. Winkler takes the run on here. Lovely maneuver from Winkler. Oh, couldn't have the final finish. But he's shown a lot of promise since checking in. Oh, good work from Mayer. Pischler. Garlo. Plays it forward. Picked off. Come on, boys. Settle in. Palacios does well. Winkler. That's the touch on. Here's Azinga. Nice to trick the man with some spirited play here. Azinga works his way forward. Oh, and he's giving it away again. He's going to have to work on his touch. Mayer gets up. Does well. Here's Chen Yang. Inside. Azinga. Off to Winkler. Plays it back for Azinga. Out wide, Chen Yang. Down for Grooves. No, picked off again. Just missing that lethal last touch here at the moment. Palacios does well. We're defending quite tightly. Garlo. Pischler. Garlo. Pischler. Plays it forward. Here's Azinga. Oh, it does well, Azinga. Oh, does well a Zinga! For Zinga! And Rosenborg get the lead in the 85th minute. It's the Austrian lad, a Zinga. A couple of poor touches just settling into the game, coming off the bench, but fuck me, he's weaved and his way through the traffic there and absolutely snapped one home. Gets his first goal probably for the club. And it's 1-0 Rosenborg with five minutes to go. What a time to score. He's come on. Lombardi with a masterstroke substitution. 1-0 Rosenborg. Winkler. Zinga Slips one forward. Here is Groobs. Cuts back nicely. Gruber! Oh, get in there. Oh, Carlos leg. What? No penalty. Oh, my days. Oh, look out. There's the whistle. We push through to the semis. Well done, boys. Well, a hard-fought encounter, but it was 11 shots to four. We controlled the possession. We deserved the win. And, uh, well, an out-and-out performance there. Pischler with a 9.2. That is decent from the Austrian. Uh, probably just missed a few shots that he took. Gruber didn't really get involved. Azinga, wait to come on and get yourself the goal. And I was very impressed with Winkler as well. All right, we've got a home game and we win 3-1. Ledermo with two goals. Right, we are into the final month here uh, with Rosenborg looking like we're going to go through. So uh, 
Ideally, we'd want to bring in as many Austrians as we can to this uh, squad. So uh, any that are available right now, I am going to bring into the first team. Hopefully, there are positions available. So Jonas Jungbau will get a promotion to the senior team. Uh, Lucas Stadler as well, promote him to the senior team. Uh, Jungbau Walter, promote him to the senior team. Uh, what else have we got here? I mean, there's, there's class talent from Norway, uh, Norway, that's for sure. Who are we missing out on? Binder. Oh, we need Carl Nygaard. No, we don't. Damara. Oh, we need Damara. And he's only 15. Oh, all right, I'm going to hold on the rest. We will promote as many as we can if we do move on to a new job. Right, three games to go for us. And we've got Stamak football in the next match. I am going to simulate that one. Uh, I want to see if the boys can get the job done without us. Right, we are at home. This will probably clinch the league if we get the win. It's a 3-0 victory. Two to O'Connor, one to Garlo. Right, we've got an away game here against Braun, and we lose 2-1, but Garlo does get himself a goal. Monthly scouting update, he's back from Australia, and uh, no, no talent once again. Austria, come on, give us a big worldie that we can sign off here. Walter Baumgartner looks okay. We will sign him into the academy at least. And Ernst Binder, uh, we'll sign him into the academy and take a look. All right, all right, and Norway. He's all right. He's all... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we've got to sign him in for Norway. Uh, what else have we got? Arsene. All right. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. All right, it's Brian and Rosenborg in at the semi-finals of the Cup. And we go down 5-4 on penalties. Ouch. All right, here we go. It's the final game of the season. And I'm thinking that we do have it wrapped up here. So probably the final opportunity that we'll get to see this squad in action uh, unless we come up against them in some sort of World Cup or like that, European competition. Uh, Gala was the captain today. So if there is a trophy presentation, he will be the man that does get to lift it. And, uh, well, well, what a season it's been. Rosenborg doing the business, getting the job done. And after this, we can go and start looking for a job in group number three. Well, oh, moving on to a new club. I always love that as a part of the journey, man. And we go and look for some more Austrian talent. But uh, there is the confirmation that it uh, doesn't matter what happens in this one. We will be going through. A goal difference of 35. Garlo is the golden boot leader at the moment. That is just ludicrous. And um, just absolutely dominating the Norwegian league. But uh, we'll be looking to bring him with us. Don't you worry about that. So uh, an interesting uh, encounter here for Rosenborg. We'll wait and see what kind of team Lombardi has put out on the park. Probably some young lads here. I've tried to pick a few extra Austrians and obviously some of the lads that have got us to this uh, final game of the season. Formalities going through with a lot of handshaking and a lot of niceties. Hello, how you going? Have a good now game, sir. I hope you don't break team. your leg, but I'm going to score a goal on you. If you score on me, maybe I will take you out the back and break your leg. They're playing five at the back. Why? Last game of the season, you've got no hope in hell of doing anything. Fucking attack. Maybe we'll play ultra-attacking and just get belted 4-0. I don't know. Let's just try some craziness for this final game here. So, Berger is between the sticks. He's an Austrian keeper. We've got Lenner at centre-back. Uh, Meyer at left-back. He's an Austrian. Uh, I was going to put Pischler in, but he was too tired. Uh, so Gruber is the other Austrian. He is up front. So, um, well, a fresh keeper. His first game for the club. Let's hope he doesn't fuck it up. But we're going to go ultra-attacking from the get-go and see if we can have an absolute goal fest here in the final game of the season. Let's do it. O'Connor. Martinson. Burnson. Another shit pass. Oh, Gruber just comes flying through. Yippee ki -yay. He's on the push here. Tremblay is carrying a knock. Oh, they've played through. First look at Berger, the keeper. Oh, he got lucky. Very lucky. There's Meyer. Back for Groobs. Groobs works his way through. Come on, Groobs. Oh, Jonsson, good save. Oh, does well, Garlo. There's the cross to the back post. Oh, Jonsson. Jonsson. Throw from Sykes. O'Connor. Burnson. Plays it out wide for O'Connor. Oh, wrecked. Free kick given. Well, Garlo's going to step up. He's 40 yards out. No hope in hell of getting this one in. Let's rocket one. 
<laughs> Into the stands. Probably a little bit heavy there, Garlo. He threw everything at it. Probably lost half of his leg trying to fucking work that one in. He's only a little lad. Fuck! Oh, Leno went up, but he's hurt himself. And that is not good. Oh, Leno goes down. And we have a centre back on the pitch, so Taylor will check in and we'll swap him out, put Meyer in. Groves. O'Connor. Taylor crosses in. Oh, picked off. Tremblay lays it off. Martinson. Half time, it's nil all. Oh, Taylor. Huge challenge. It doesn't matter. We haven't got the ball out of it. Tremblay tries to get his slide tackle in. It's over the back. Here's the header. And it's wide, and it's just a real scrappy performance here from both teams. Drives it out wide. Sykes plays it forward. He's got Gruber. Plays it off. Burnson. Ah, oh, settle and shoot. All right, two changes. Azinga and Winkler check in. They made the difference in the last encounter we played. So let's give them a crack here. See if we can find a goal. Group has been very, very quiet. Oh, Palacios. Brilliant. O'Connor. Oh, Galo couldn't come through. We are on all out attack now. Burns it. Oh, O'Connor. Galo, turn around and run, mate. We're on all out attack. You should be slamming forward. Oh, Zinga. He's got the steal. Works his way forward. Does he have the pace, though? That is the question. No, doesn't have the trickery in the back locker just yet. Oh, Myers just taking him out as well. And it's a free kick. Is it a red? Meyer. Yep, see you later. Well, he had to make the challenge. Anton Meyer, he's an angry Austrian. Get him a such a taunt. Bit of strudel. Oh, yes. Lovely challenge. We'll take a red for that. Let's hope they don't score here, though. We might be in a bit of trouble. Burgers between the sticks. Over the top. There's the whistle. It's a nil-nil draw. But uh, we are the champions. Is there a uh, trophy celebration? Doesn't look like it. Where's our fucking trophy? Oh, that's shit. Why don't we get a fucking trophy? You have to play every game to get a bloody trophy, do ya? Oh, good on you, EA. It's the last home game of the season. Surely there should have been a trophy presentation. Oh, well, that's fucked. Ten shots to four. Nil all. A pretty boring game, to be fair. Uh, Maya gets a red card. Well done. Group of man of the match. Didn't fuck all. All right, first things first we need to do. We've, uh, we've won the championship, so... Uh, are there any Austrians that need to be signed up here? All right, Binder, promote. All right, so we've got Austrians in that we can. The rest are too young, unfortunately. If they do come of age before we uh, move on, we will definitely sign them in if we can. Um, but let's get some more talent in here floating around. There's some big 94s that would definitely uh, cause some issues in the future. Oh, no. The team is full now. Well, that's it. We can't sign any more players. It's a full squad here at Rosenborg. Oh, at least we know. Right, so we have won our league here with Rosenborg. We can move on to group number three. And, uh, of course, group number three consists of Scotland, Switzerland, Poland, or Belgium. They are the four leagues that we can look through. Hopefully, we do get a job before them. Um, but, uh, cool. Group two completed. Let's have a look at some stats and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, then we'll go about looking for a new job. Right, let's take a look at... Uh, well, it's a full squad here, isn't it? So uh, we'll be leaving Rosenborg with a lot of players to probably offload. Uh, they've got the goalkeeper. Uh, all right, let's have a look here. Schuster, showing great potential. 61 gone up, 11. Um, I don't know what else we need to look at here. Uh, Helen's a 64 gone up, 4. Uh, Stadler's a 55, so here's another Austrian goalkeeper that we can keep an eye on in the future. Uh, Berger has the potential to be special, 63 gone up one, definitely one that we'll have to put on our short list. Uh, and Fraser's a 77 gone up seven. A lot of goalkeepers, but uh, you'd assume that they would eventually sell some of those off, so we'll keep an eye out. Uh, right backs, Palacios, 75 gone up five. 
Uh, Taylor, he is going to Wigan once the transfer window opens. Uh, Gunderson, 61, gone up five, is an exciting prospect. Uh, Clemens Lennart, in that last game, got the injury. He did an ACL, and he will be missing for seven months. That is huge. That is a huge fucking blow for Austria, considering he's been playing in our World Cup squad and really doing a good job. Unfortunately, he is out for seven months. Uh, Meyer, an exciting prospect. 61 gone up one. Showed a lot of promise there for us as well. Mikkelbus, 62. Sykes, 75 gone up five. Uh, Bamba is a 62 gone up eight. Uh, what I want you guys to do in the comments for me is uh, write any of these players that you feel we should put on our short list um, so that if they do come up for sale when we're in group three, we can go and try and grab them. Uh, Pistola, 62 gone up two. Vigar is a 57, gone up four. Tremblay picked up a knock as well. Uh, four days, 64, gone up four. Fraser, 56, gone up seven. Uh, Browns, a 56, gone up six. Gunderson, 55, gone up five. Lund, 56, gone up four. Mo, uh, 54, gone up one. Bello, 52, gone up five. He's going to Galway United. Uh, Tesserek, potential to be special. 60, gone up one. The Slovakian uh, left midfielder. Ericsson, 63, gone up five. Williams, a 61, gone up five. Mikkelbus, uh, 67, gone up five. O'Connor, a 78, gone up three. He'll definitely be helping Rosenborg out. Uh, Martinson, 67, gone up five. Garlow's an 80, gone up three. What's he worth? 23 and a half million. We're gonna need a team with cash if we wanna bring Garlow across to us. Uh, Winkler is a 60, gone up two, showing great potential. Burnson, 70, gone up six, an exciting prospect. Zinga is a 60, gone up one. He is showing great potential. Uh, Binder is a 48 that we've just signed in. Three star, three star. Uh, could be okay. He's going to take a lot of time to grow, though. Uh, Gruber is a 62, gone up six. Michael, 64, gone up four. Jungbao, 54, who we've just signed in. Four star, three star. He's got some pace, so uh, one to keep an eye on in the future. Uh, his brother Walter is a 61. Potential to be special. Left winger. Oh, what's he got? What's he got? Oh, three star, two star. Uh, but it could be big in the squads in the future. Lund 58 gone up five. Yang is a 70 gone up two. And that is how we will be leaving Rosenborg. Right, just taking a look in on the uh, Republic of Ireland and Shamrock Rovers there on 74 points have done the job. So uh, it's good to see our legacy holding true there. All right, so we may need to scout some more of these players, but let's have a quick look at Shamrock, see how they're uh, traveling. Um, I'll just quickly skip through this so we can see uh, Bradley's up to a 65. Okay, so they're all hitting that 60s sort of uh, area and getting the job done. Um, nothing really crazy going on. Oh, Fredrickson's up to a 73, so he's looking pretty decent. Uh, no one else really taking off. Oh, Oscar Heisen's still a 71. August Jespersen is a 71. And uh, John O'Byrne, 82. That would be the reason Shamrock's doing so well defensively. And no one else has really gone too crazy there. Well, we've left the legacy and we'll keep an eye on those players. Right, so the EuroLeague at the moment is contested by AC Milan and Everton. We'll switch to the table view and see if Shamrock went through into the EuroLeague. They finished third. They only just missed out on going through. So uh, another season or two as those youth players develop there, they should be able to get through, hopefully, and do a job here, at least in the EuroLeague. Good, good to see them up and about, though. The Champions League is an all-Manchester final, so we might get an opportunity to see who takes that one out. Interestingly enough, Rangers through to the round of 16. And Garlo took the golden boot here in the Norwegian league. Uh, O'Connor was up there with 12 as well. So scoring a lot of goals off the wings uh, was Rosenborg. Uh, Tronston from the midfield as well with eight. Assist-wise, uh, not really any assists. It looks like the boys have just gone in and done the job themselves. Garlo and O'Connor there with four. Uh, and clean sheets, well, Fraser got himself eight. Uh, he didn't play a full season. Uh, Berger got himself a clean sheet as well. Well done, Berger. Right, so it is the 17th of May. Uh, we're going to go and see if we can get a job. So uh, I'll keep browsing the jobs. Um, I will keep resetting and towards the end of May. I'll do a couple of resets, see if we can get a job in one of those groups. If not, I'll load into the next season um, and simulate through until we get a job. So we'll be back when we have a new job for you.
All right, we are back and we have got offers here for the Belgian League. Um, now, what I tend to do with this one, I don't generally take the best team. Um, I look at their objectives, how much money they've got and where they're sitting on the league table. So um, if we look here, we've got Anderlecht who are sitting first. Um, you know, there's no, there's no challenge in that. They've got Dan Docker in that, 56 million, a decent wage budget. Uh, Club Bruges is an interesting one, 84 million. They currently sit in fifth. Uh, Standard Leash, uh, what have they got? Third, 67,000. Uh, Genk, 53, and is it Gent? 121 million and sitting in second. All right, let me do a little bit of research quickly and then I will pick a team. Right, bugger it, we're gonna go with uh, Club Bruges. Hopefully that doesn't upset, uh, upset anyone. Um, I'm not real familiar with the Belgian league to be fair, but hopefully this can be an indication. Maybe you guys can educate me a little bit more. Um, but Bruges is a lovely little city. I'm, I, I really do want to visit there. The missus has been there, said it was absolutely tremendous. So uh, some place that I know the name of. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't really know the rest of the teams. Um, well, I mean, I know of them. And elect, I definitely know of. Um, but yeah, fuck it, let's go. Club Bruges sitting in fifth. Uh, let's hope we can turn them around rather quickly and get them playing European football. We can bring Galo across and uh, start scouting Austria. Let's go. Right, Club Bruges would be happy to have us at the club. They're offering us a wage of 19,000 per week. We're going to Belgium. Right, so uh, we're going to wrap things up here very, very shortly. But this is the team that we have inherited. Uh, it's looking very, very decent anyway. Uh, the Belgian teams are usually very, very good. Um, oh, who's this young lad? 73 overall from the Netherlands. Centre mid, right mid. He's 23, so he's been around for a little while. Uh, handy little uh, regen player there. Not much squad depth, though, so we can get stuck right in to bringing a big youth academy here through Club Bruges. Uh, but we will save that one for the next episode. Okay, so we're going to wrap this one up here. Maybe you guys can explain this to me. There's 30 games here in the league stage, and when I press R1, it goes into another league stage with the six... Uh, teams that had finished in the top six. Is that like a playoffs sort of thing? Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments so I can be prepared for the next episode. Uh, so we have Club Bruges and uh, they finished in fifth. So uh, a little bit of a rebuild to be done here uh, so that we can take down some of these big teams. We'll have new regents floating around on the free agency list. We'll be bringing in more youth talent. We'll be building our Austrian squad for the future. We're on to group three. Hopefully you're enjoying this journeyman career mode with me. We will see you in the next episode. I'm Spiron DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one.